Welcome back to new video. It's it's uh it's completed. Generation three is completed. It's finally completed. I can move on with my life. Yes. I'm done developing this. I can finally move on. So guys, in this update, we have the last gen three. We have done the ten tails Eisden, Isden, whatever the, the hell the name is. But we have it right now. We got a skin as well. And we have a really good concept for how you unlock it. Yeah. Uh, and then you know here's a little staff preview. Oh, check out all the mess. Should um so we actually got uh UGC permissions to upload stuff. We might upload like certain masses, like obviously like Karama's mass, the this mass, this mass, this. We can literally upload all of them. Honestly, I know a lot of people like the Apollo, the original uh, Gen Three when it came out. It brings like a lot of good memories. So I might upload all these to UGC. Um, uh, let us know if you guys uh, want us to make them into UGCs, into like hats you can actually wear on your character you know what i'm saying <laughs> to get news from us is uh from our discord uh rel games all right you're gonna have the announcements you're gonna have the game infos everything you're gonna have shindo life Relsies, Nindon. Now, we're not going to be using Twitter to give out information. Um, to get news and everything from us, you can just join the Discord and we'll just post everything here. Okay, so um, another thing is we've been seeing a lot of people think that Nindon is a replacement for Shindo, and that's completely not true. They're actually, um, you want to take this over, dude? This is like... Oh, uh, yeah. Shindo and Nindon yeah. is a completely different idea, a different concept, how the game's going to be designed, how things are going to interact. It has a different lore, new story, new characters alongside. Uh, well, actually, um, some characters are going to transfer over like, due to, like, the yeah. naming and the designs. But like, other than that, um, you, you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, so for example, right, you, you take Minikaze. Uh, Minikaze is a Naruto lore based character so if you take like the the only the Naruto lore based characters that we develop in in um, Shindo then yes then the lore based characters are going to be in uh, Nindon so I know a lot of people they love Satori they they like um, Bankai they like uh, Ryan so you have those kind of lore based characters right all right so we're currently in the process of developing a new type of combat system um like different type of hyper armors, different type of utilities that you can use and how you can combine them to combo extend and all this. All right, enough talking. We shall go showcase this stuff now. All right, let's go to, um, to Espada. Um, so this is the size of the training grounds. Uh, this is probably most likely going to replace the training grounds for, for a kind of like PVP fights. It's less parts. It's, you know, a lot better to you know just fight on as well there's not the custom water etc and you know it looks sick so um we might lock this to high level players so wait, wait i'm going to the center all right so we're going to show you guys how to get the uh um, the tiny tails you know what i'm saying you gotta see that little portal over there right you gotta go up to him you gotta smack him in the the backside are you looking for power except mass of gen 3 are required now you're not giving your tail beast up. Uh, it's a new concept, right? You don't give up your tail beast. So, do you wish to continue? You gotta collect all nine masses of the tail beast, and when you do that, right? Now it's not a bloodline. All right. So this, uh, I mean, it's not a fucking. I mean, it's not a mode. <laughs> all right. So it's actually a bloodline, and then once you do that, you will get the Eisen bloodline to equip. So, once you put it in your one, you can uh, and do your things, my uh, just now. So, these are the other ones. Now, here's the Q spec. All right, you use the uh, Z spec on me for the Q spec. I love it. Okay, 
Now we're gonna go into uh, the bloodline keys. I'm gonna unequip the weapon. Now uh, it does have a skin, uh, which is gonna be a limited uh, time only. It's gonna be like the true limited. So uh, ready? So we're gonna do the first move. Ready? Now it is a pull move. You guys are probably wondering what? It's low, low damage, right? So I'm gonna block. All right, use it. It's a pull move that's a block breaker. <laughs> now, yes, we're testing the damages in this case, but we're trying to see like how busted it is. Now, I understand it. It, it. You guys are seeing like, oh, it's doing low damage, right? Um, no, trust me, trust me. We're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do with this. All right, block. <laughs> okay, ready, second move. Now the second move is an AOE. Alright. Come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a amazing AOE actually. I right, use it on me. Very right, nice. Alright. H A. Now um if you guys are wondering about the damages, we have not Officialize the damages yet. Yeah, some damages might be very low, some might be very high. We just want to showcase this, uh, balance it, and then um, how do you update ready for tomorrow? Now we're gonna do the uh, third move. So, um, the third move in AoE, and it is um, a stun as well. So, um, we got inspiration from um, Dracula, or you know, you know how he impales. So, ready. I'm gonna do it one more time. Alright, use it on me. And it's pretty good least stun. So I know they look like they're up in the air. But their body's actually right here. Wait, actually, wait, wait, look, do, do it on me. Actually, I don't think your body's right there. Yeah. Wait, use it. Uh, oh yeah, no, never mind. Your body is right there. I just saw it. I was getting scared for a second, like, oh no, this stun's gonna be bad, but nah, it's good. Yeah, the body's right there. So, it's just an animation that puts their body up in the air. Their actual body's located on the floor, just for you guys to know. Alright, let's go into the mode. Oh, yo, it's daytime. <laughs> Uh, nighttime it gets extremely dark during the daytime it's very nice now we did change the lighting aspect um, because when you guys first saw it it wasn't the correct line aspect so this is the new line aspect look how it just it just very nice very nice now oh let's let's show this now this thing has no head all right now if you've seen the sneak peek you saw how the head was disconnected right so yes, my hair is in the way, but the head is kind of broken up and disconnected from the top shell to the bottom shell. And then you have like these little heads disconnected and you have the three holes in the chest. This is just stage, there's only two stages. There's stage one, which is based on like a, a Obito uh, slash Aizen design. And stage two is be based on the Madara slash uh, Aizen design. Now the, you obviously have the mask on the head. Uh, my hair is covering it. But, um, if you don't have, like, a, uh, who am I kidding? If you don't have here on your character's head, then you can see it better. But, uh, this is, um, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Alright, um, the, the e-spec, we'll do that first. Now, the e-spec, oh, my bad, I used it on the wrong thing. Now, the e-spec is a turret. Now, the tour is firing at one dummy heads right now, but um, let me HD the dummy. So, the tour constantly fires over and over. Ready? See how it randomizes from one, two, three? It's like a, they have like a turret move. And again, guys, uh, the damage is not adjusted. Um, and the sound effects, they're still loading. It's just taking Robux a long time to load these sound effects. Now we're gonna do the Q spec. Boom, boom, boom. And then the, there's a stun in the end, and then you can end one combo extend after that. Alright, use on me. Boop, 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 boop,
boom, boom. Yep. I think it's fair and balance. 100k, fair and balance. You know it doesn't need any buffs. It doesn't need any nerfs. All right. So I want to show you something cool about the C-Spec, right? So, so, uh, use a C-Spec on me. <laughs> is that a dragon? Yes. Yes, it is a dragon in the sky. All right. H-A. Let me do that. Okay. I wanted that C spec from far away. Hold on. Uh, let me put. I forgot to put that in infinite cooldown. Still one of my very impressive fucking Superman. These crazy fucking giant pieces. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm not gonna miss the people that fucking cry about it, but I'm gonna miss making them. All right. Um, uh, C2. Uh, uh, okay. We got Aizen. Form 2. Now, obviously you got the disconnected head. You got the two heads on the side. You got the ten tails. The tail's going crazy. The tail's going crazy. The animation going crazy. And then you got the, the cloak animations as well. You know, just the little tings. All right. Um, do the East pack. I'll do it. So it's still the turret, for example. Okay, and then w the M1s change to the... I forgot to showcase the, the other M1s. So... <laughs> I forgot how sick these M1s are, hold on. This is a C1 and M1s by the way, so it's crazy. Now we're gonna go through this. Stage 2. Alright, ready? These are the M1s. Now, just ignore that red box. That red box is there it's just to show you where the hitbox is at, so... That's a very giant, giant hitbox, so just think about like write down your cursor and that's where the hitbox is. Alright, use it on me. Wait, wait, wait. Bl block with that toe beast real quick. I want to see something. Damn, dude. They look like a fucking menace. Disgusting. Ugly. <laughs> no brains. No brains. Alright. And then, um,. Uh, yeah, dude, does it have two C specs or with the Q when it goes in the Q spec or how does it, it work? Has a different C spec. Uh, max mode, rel B. So, this is the first C spec, right? That is, is basically for uh, Till Beast Bomb? Yeah, Till Beast Bomb with the um, the yeah. true seeking uh, lasers. And then we go into the Q spec, and then you get to be uh, <laughs> dude, you literally fly around that map. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the what is the C spec on this? No, it's the same thing, same lizard. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I need some chi. Uh, wait, wait. Let me let me get out this Q spec. I wanna I wanna get you flying like crazy. Damn, dude. This is it. Oh man. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I got around the mode. <laughs> you ran out of mode? <laughs> oh. Blop. Oh yeah, we should start the video up with the, the tent hill flying, you know what I'm saying? That, that yeah, yeah. This thing just looks... Jesus Christ. And uh, by the way, guys, this is uh, you, for for this. We're not making this a buyable. You have to grind this. So, um, the e spec also changes when you need thing. Oh yeah, that's because the laser. It like it has an impact. Uh huh. And also has a torrent. Oh, so the e spec changes. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me check this out. You have, to have, you have to have really good aim while in this mode. Like, Yakuza has to be yeah. on them because they're so far and you're so big. I see. <laughs> and people are going to be zooming, dude. Now, guys, it's going to be very extremely hard to get this, so. 
and I'm not sure how long we're, I'm gonna get the true limited uh, available. Let me let me just showcase the skin now. I just want to show how the skin looks. All right, so two, three. So the skin is like a it's a, it's like an inverse color. So you know how we had the oh man, this skin is sick. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Yo, go to see one on yours. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> You're looking kind of weak there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, see two. Hey, man. Well, I, think, I think we're just on different playing fields, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, my, uh, let me max my mode. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and, and the abilities are, are black, like, it's more of a bluish tint, but I know some people would like that. Yeah. Let me go to C1. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I know this color, this color hits hard. This color hits hard. So the skin, the the skin's gonna be available for. Um, I'm not sure from how long I'm gonna be make it available. Maybe a month or so, uh, maybe two weeks or so. It doesn't really matter, but it's gonna be available. It's a true limited, um, and yeah. Uh, but you can't buy you can't buy the original. So once the skin goes away, you can't buy it. So um, you're gonna have to grind for the original. All right, that's it. I'm, hey everyone, I just want to just talk to you guys before we end the video. Um, I want you to know that like, every single one of you guys that play and support our game and doesn't like, you know, want anything from us or, you know, just don't show up for the codes and just show up to tell us that we're doing a good job. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys made developing Shindo a lot more enjoyable than, than you think. Like every single one of you guys. Um, Shindo... As you know, it's becoming more massive and massive. The game file is becoming way more massive. The more content it gets, uh, you know, the less less people can run it. So that's why we're gonna be slowing down on the updates. Uh, we're probably gonna be updating maybe twice a month. So that's every we we tried that last year where we went like every two weeks and then we updated, um, and um, we have a total of three slash four bloodlines left. If you look at the bloodline tab, you can see, you can actually count how many spots we have left, um, including, you know, the skins for those. Um, the real bloodline is literally going to be the last bloodline as we announce. Um, but content wise, we want to, we want to keep updating Shindo as long as possible. Um, as long as you guys enjoy it and you're not hating everything we're doing, we'll keep on doing it. So. Um, I think Shindo is in its uh, final stages of uh, almost being complete, like a completed game. Um, we're gonna have like completion tasks. We're gonna have like the like a full mastery um, like tab where you can like show that you completed Shindo. So guys, Shindo is nearly completed, and that's that's not that's a good thing and that's a bad thing. So the good thing is Shindo is gonna be the full game that it's it's meant to be. The bad thing is um, the content's gonna be. Um, I don't know how to say this. The content's gonna be uh it's gonna be good. The content's gonna be more revisions of old like previous work. It's not gonna be we're not gonna be adding any new content. Um after the like for KGs at least, but we're gonna be adding sub, sub abilities and whatever we can add to the game to fill it more up. But yeah, that that'll be like the dates. Uh the base schedule is gonna change a lot. I don't know, we're gonna probably do maybe one update every two weeks to save the spaces for Shindo because this game has surprisingly the most content in any game on Roblox. And we still, I think we still got like a couple more months of developing Shindo, honestly. And then we'll see what happens in those couple months. Like, um, so it's not ending yet and it's not ending soon. Technically, it's not ending ever. If you really think about it, it never, it never ends. Like, it never ends. If there's something that can always be improved, we'll still work on it. Um, and obviously, we got our new games coming, guys. We got the Relsies, and then we got Nindon coming, um, which Relsies, we're going to be working with a team. 
Um, and then Nindon is going to be me and my bro again. So, anyways, uh, we're trying to get in the game fund for Nindon so we can get that game funded, etc. By Roblox, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.